Look, Listen, you can't tell me what I'm you're not. You're not an archangel, bro. What is you? Because an archangel. Are you an archangel? No, I'm not an archangel. I like this. Yeah, I'm an Israelite. I'm, a, I'm your I brother. Right, I'm your right. brother. Hey, we got to fight this flesh together. Right. You on this earth battling sin. Right. Which we trying to tell you. You talk hey, about. Man, a whole bunch listen, of listen, Joseph. Joseph, we talk about you wonder how we're gonna get changed. The change start with you first. Right. The change started with you first. We can't change a nation I've if you don't want to change. Hey, look, if you see me out here. So, I just seen. So basically, I didn't hold on, Joseph. Joseph. Bunch of lines from hey, Joseph, this is what you're doing. You're talking too much, right? No, I'm not talking. Yeah, yeah, you're talking too I much. I hear what y'all saying. You're talking too I much. Hear what Listen, you saying. according to the Bible, you're supposed to be getting you drunk. You think I'm scared? I don't, neither one of us no, got to be scared yeah, of each other. This ain't about being scared or not. We talk about what the Bible says, because that's the only I thing that's going to help our people. Right, right. Oh, according to the Revelation, listen, li anybody. listen, listen. According to the Bible, are we supposed to be getting drunk? Really? Hey, did I say I? Joseph, answer the question. Are you missing what I'm saying? Joseph, did I say I drink like that? Joseph. Or did I say I just happen to be drunk? You said, did you get drunk? Scared. Yeah, I got Okay, drunk. is it okay according to God to get drunk? Do we know it's not. Okay, so why are you getting drunk? Because look, when you chilling with the because husband, you be in the Exodus wrong sometimes. 22. Look, more of the story, you be in the wrong sometimes. No, all right? I got you, right? I got you. You be in the wrong but feeling. Guess what, life. guess what? You ain't gonna build no nation if you hanging around niggas all the time. Right. The niggas is gonna call you to do dumb shit, bro. Right. I'm hey, telling you hey, that right now. I'm learning you gotta, the hard way. So you gotta, the hard and way. you gotta stop learning the hard way, and but you gotta look, learn what the Bible says. Now, if y'all knew about Jesus, this is the book. What's the book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 2? Right now. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. So your circle, your friend group, guess what? Yeah, you yeah. follow them and it's causing you to do oh, evil. Right. You fighting? You getting they drunk? Like you okay with prostitution? Right. Because I'm not okay with prostitution. Yes, you are, because you say if someone needs to give if a woman needs to get money, she can do a little prostitution. You heard me wrong. My brother, what is I'm prostitution saying is, okay? If you gotta feed your okay. kid, but this if the you gotta feed your okay and they're not giving you a job, your sister I to make money. You Go back to Leviticus 19:29. You Let's missing what, what I'm saying? You believe in the Bible? What's your name? Fred. Fred. Like okay, said, Fred. If we're showing up with a different the situation for our sisters, instead of about this one to the Bible, we got the only way to get out of the situation that we're in. The only way we're gonna get out of the situation at the bottom, right, is by keeping God's laws and commandments. Look what the Bible says. Listen. This is the book hey, of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Hey. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So you see what God said about prostitution? We ain't supposed to be okay with it. You're not supposed to prostitute your daughter. You're not supposed to allow prostitution. You sit on the street, you gotta tell your sister to go home and stop doing, put some clothes on. Right. And stop selling their body. Right. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Guess what? No churches are out here correcting their people. Right. But we come out here to show our people what God says. You understand what I'm saying, Frank? And we're trying to show Joseph, listen, this is what we gotta do to change our lives. Right. But it starts with you first. It starts with each and every one of us have to make the decision. You know what? I'm gonna make the change and do what God says to do. Right. I'm gonna stop hanging out with these people. People who are gonna cause me to fight, get him a uh, fight, get me black eyes, get drunk, right? Uh, smashing hoes. We gonna Good stop drunk, doing that. Drunk is crazy. Yeah, you see, you understand what I'm saying? Does, Fighting yeah. is crazy too. Right. Prostitution right. is crazy too. Right. The way you live, bro, you gotta change. Right. All right, Muhammad Ali. Right, you gonna kick yourself dead or in Muhammad jail, bro? Crazy. You understand and what I'm saying? You gonna get the God. judgment of God if you don't repent. We right. trying to show you what God says to do. Right. I hang out with the sinners because I know you can change. The Matthew sin. nine. You don't because have to yes, dwell right. in the sin. Because listen, but you can change. You know what I'm saying? Give somebody a different perspective than what they. Are we trying to, to Joseph? Joseph. But you can't do that. Look, Jesus. Joseph. You got hanging around with niggas that's already saved. He hung around with sinners. We got you. you can't but change you, was he was he doing saved. what they was? Was he partaking in their sins, Joseph? Bring out. You know or was saying? he correcting like them? Look, I'm not was perfect. he correcting them? I'm not perfect. I know. I'm not I to be Joseph, Joseph. Sometimes you feel. Hey, Joseph, you talking too much, bro. I get what you're saying. Listen, Joseph, you gotta listen, bro. You gotta listen more I just want you to and let the Bible speak. Okay, That's all I'm saying. listen what the Bible says. When Christ was dealing with the sinners, he wasn't partaking in the sin and saying, hey, you fighting? Man, that's okay, dude. Hey, you smoking weed? Don't worry about it. You getting drunk? That's cool. No, he was correcting their sins. Watch this. Go ahead. Matthew 9, verse 13. It's the book of Matthew. How you doing, my sister? Come close, sister. Like I said, it's the I question is, is like, the you question is, right? When Christ was dealing with the people, they won't understand. Was he correcting their senses, or was right. he okay with, their, with, with the, what they were going through? So what? When Christ, when Christ was dealing with the people, was he correcting their sins, or was he okay with their sins? Yeah. He was correcting their sins. He was correcting their sins. Right. Yes. He went to the sinners, yes, 
But he was corrected. Watch this, Matthew 9 and 13. That's the book of Matthew, chapter 9 and verse 13. But go ye and learn. Uh, start of verse 11. Verse 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, uh -huh. they said unto his disciples, uh -huh. Why eat your master with publicans and sinners? Uh -huh. So the scribes and Pharisees, they were in opposition to Christ. They didn't like Christ coming on the scene. Right? Christ was disrespect disrupting the way there was uh, the, the flow of the scribes and the Pharisees. And so he was getting upset. He's like, hey man, why is Christ hanging out with the publicans? And the, and the sinners. Why is he doing that, right? He's going to explain. Read. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need, a, need not a physician. My question to you all. If you're not sick, are you going to go to the doctors? No. No, you're not. What's the, what's, the, what's the point of going to the hospital if you're not sick? Right. If you, if you don't have a, if your limbs are okay, right, you don't got no headache, you ain't sick, you going to call the doctor? No. Hey, doc, hey, I'm not sick. No, you're not going to do that. But read that again for the talk. But when Jesus heard that, uh -huh. he said to them, They that be whole need not a physician. So if you perfect, if you whole, if there's nothing wrong with you, yeah, Christ didn't come for you. Right. Yeah, right, watch, keep reading. But they that are sick. Verse 13. Uh, but they that are sick. He's going to explain who the sick are. Read. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. Uh -huh. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Read. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinner to repentance. So Christ didn't come to those who say, I'm perfect. I got a relationship with God. I'm, I'm holier than thou. Right. Christ ain't coming for those people. Yeah. Christ is coming for you. Who read the bottom part? But sinners. Christ came for the sinners. Those who know and acknowledge that they're not perfect. Right. Those who acknowledge that they need a doc, they need medicine. Right. That's who Christ came for. Right. Christ is not coming for the ones who don't want to hear the Bible and change. Right. He's coming for those you know I messed up. I gotta to change in my me. mind. I gotta change. Lord, I need your help. That's what Christ is. That's the purpose of Christ. Watch John 8 14. One of them got saved, the other one didn't. I don't know when that got saved. I wasn't seeing Hey one. Joseph, I want you, I want you to I want you to understand. You know what? What's your name again, sis? Helen. Helen? Helen and you have Helen and Frank. You, under, you notice how they're listening? And when I ask them a question, they go. But bro, you you talking, you talking, you gotta you gotta listen, bro. The only way you're gonna change, you gotta listen. You gotta be ready to listen. Fred is listening, that's why he's gonna get understanding. He's gonna know who he is. Helen is listening. That's why she's going to get understanding. Actually, I'm, I'm That's the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 7. How you doing, my brother? We can help you. My question, my question to this day. When Christ came onto the scene, was he correcting the people of their sins? But I'm also trying to find your base so I can go on. on you don't know? Do you read the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, I believe in Old Testament, I'm to find a good but uh, I have a friend that taught me about you guys, uh -huh. so that's why I came. Oh, that's why you came. Okay. Yeah. I'm showing Helen and Fred, right, that when Christ was coming on the scene, I'm trying to show Joseph too, but when Christ came on the scene, he was correcting our, the, our people of their sins. Right. That's what we're doing today. We got to correct the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and let them know what they're doing wrong and have them change according to what God said. Right. We're doing what Christ said to do. A lot of people say they follow Christ, but this is what Christ did. John 8 and 7. It's the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 7. Right. Yeah. So when they continued asking him, he lift up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him cast a stone at earth. Uh -huh. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Right. And so this is, to speed it up, right? A woman was caught in the midst of adultery. Right? Back then, if you got committed adultery, what would happen? You would get what? Stone. It was a rap. It was a rap. So guess what? The Pharisees... They caught this woman in adultery. Wait, hold on. But when you commit adultery, how many people, at least, it's two, right? Right. What was the man at? Real. Real. Wasn't there. So guess what? The scribes and Pharisees, they were off in their judgment. Right. They were off. And so they wanted to put her to death. So guess what? Christ said, who is what thou sin? Cast the first stone. Guess what? Meaning, condemning people sin. to hell. We don't condemn nobody. Right. Now, if you're wrong, we're going to tell you you're wrong. Right. But we're not going to say, oh, now you can't get the kingdom of heaven. Now you got to get put to death. But that's what the scribes and Pharisees were trying to do. We ain't moving like that. We're going to show you, hey, Fred, if you're doing something wrong, we're going to say, hey, Fred, you got to start kicking your head. This is Helen. You got to keep going. But we're not going to say, hey, sis, you going to hell. Uh, no, no, because guess what? Judge, Repentance judge, is judge, open judge, for judge, all of us. We right. Change, right? Keep reading. Verse 9. Uh -huh. And they were heard it, being convicted in their own conscience, uh -huh. went out one by one, right. beginning at the eldest, uh -huh. even unto the last. Uh -huh. and now jump to verse 11. Verse 11. Uh -huh. And she said, No, man, Lord. Uh -huh. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I commend thee 
I condemn, mean, condemn. So neither do I condemn thee. Huh? Go and sin no more. You see what Christ told him? What did he tell him to do? Don't sin no more. Meaning stop breaking God's laws and commandments. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. all we're doing. That's all we're doing and telling our people. Listen, we got to stop breaking God's commandments. Right. That's it. So if you're getting drunk, you got to stop getting drunk. Right. If you're a prostitu in the midst of prostitution, okay with it? You gotta stop that. Right. Right? If you're getting high, you smoking weed, abusing drugs, you gotta stop that. Right? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.